Hi, I'm Darren, Theory and Support Specialist with Artuzzi, and here we'll be looking at using the Assignment Editor. The first thing we'll do from our Assignment homepage is to create a new problem set. We'll give it a title. You can add a note for yourself so you know what it is. You can create a start date or an end date if you so choose. And then we get down to building the content. Click Add a New Section. Artuzzi's got a lot of different exercise types. We're going to focus on our chord progressions, which is our four-part voice leading type. I'm going to make an exercise that does some authentic cadences. So as I scroll down, I'll see some cho chord choices. Notice that these are the chord progressions that come automatically populated whenever you create a chord progressions exercise, but you can customize them as much as you want. Okay, now I'm going to make another new section. I'm going to do the same steps. This time I'm going to make it for half cadences. This means I'm going to have to delete a few different chord progressions. And for variety, I'm going to add a few more with some predominant to dominant cadences. Finally, I want to make some deceptive cadences. So what I'm going to do here actually is I'm going to clone my authentic cadences exercise. I can either edit it in line on this page or I can open it back up in the separate assignment editor, section editor, which I will do. Deceptive cadences. I'm going to add a little note to the students, some extra instructions for them. And then I'm going to go in and change my chord progressions so that they're all writing deceptive cadences instead. Everything looks all set to me. I could preview the assignment as a whole if I want, but I'm going to trust that I know what I'm doing and then I'm going to slide this button to green and now students will be able to see and start working on that assignment.